So I'm now continuing with the dry build of the uh, Lavelda frame. So I've got the swinging arm re-welded up again. So I've got the um, paddock stands welded on fully. Uh, I've got it all new powder coated. Uh, I've got new needle roller bearings put in there. And I've got like, these new bushes that have been put in place and welded up. And I've got the brackets all welded up here. And that's all been welded up. And obviously the frame's all been uh, shot blasted and nicely powder coated. Next thing is to make sure that the, um, the the hardened bushes that fit into the needle needle roller bearing conversion are okay. And if you can see in there, we've got the two bushes. So you've got the bush at this end, you've got the bush at this end, you've got a spacer in between. Um, and they fit in between the two parts of the frame. Um, I've got currently uh, a small gap in there. Uh, I've got a feeler gauge in there. It's telling me it's got, I've got about 40, uh, point, point 0.4 of a mil in there. So I'll probably put a shim in that. It does, if I, if, I, if I tighten up this bolt, it does actually bring the frame in. It does squeeze the frame in and grips those, but that's obviously creating some flex in the frame. And I don't really want to put that much flex into it so I'll probably put a small shim in the end of, end of that to make sure that I've got a nice tight uh, hardened bush connection in there and um, the next part that I need to do is I then need to measure this gap here which is the gap between the edge of the swing arm and the, the frame itself because at the moment the swing arm will float backwards or forwards and it is supposed to have some float because it isn't supposed to catch on the frame like it, like it, like it used to which caused me the problems so there needs to be nylon washers in here. And so I need to measure this gap. Um, it's currently four mil. And um, what I'll do is when I've got it tightened up with the, the bolt, um, I'll get that rechecked again. I've uh, taken all the powder coating off the outside of the, uh, the surface there. And I've also cut a small groove. I've, I've made sure the groove is clean in the edge of that so that when you put the grease in through the grease nipple at the bottom, that it'll come out and actually comes out this side of the nylon, this side of the nylon washer, rather than trying to get in between the hardened bush and the frame. Um, so I just need to get a couple of nylon washers, then I can get all that put together, get the shocks on it, and then uh, start to think about getting the, um, uh, getting the back wheel in and getting the, all the engine done.